I wanted to talk a little bit about body shaming today. Now, some of you may not know that I've never been particularly proud of or fond of my body, not for many, many years. In fact, not since, oh, not since probably my early 20s when I was a total gym bunny and I actually had the, the abs that you could see. But for a long, long time, I've been quite wary of getting my kit off, as are a lot of people in today's society. So just the fact that I'm sitting here talking to you today in a bikini top with my lovely British sunburn through the sunblock is, is quite a feat for me. But why do we do it? Why are we so obsessed with criticising, comparing and looking at other people's bodies and very often making negative comments about other people's bodies. Now if I think back even to my school days, when I was at grammar school I was wavering somewhere between a size 6 and a size 8. I was pretty skinny back then and even then I remember one of my teachers looking across the class and talking about different body shapes and referring to me as being a bit podgy quote unquote and it's because I've always had a bit of a double chin here even when I was really really thin I've always had this thing going on. And if I go back a little bit before that, if I go back to being, I don't know, about 14, 15, I remember standing in my mum's living room, tit titillating about with my hair, and my aunt standing in the doorway and saying to my mother, hasn't she got a big backside compared to the rest of her body? So there, straight away, that was the first issue developed in, in kind of late teens, uh, mid-teens, in terms of feeling ashamed of the size of my backside. And then there's the time... I remember my first job, in my first journalism job, going to meet the rest of, of the crew there in one of the pubs in time, town one lunchtime. It was summer. I'd got shorts on. I remember a guy sitting, sitting at the bar and saying, you're wearing them knees for a joke, love. So, for, so there, I've got the issues with the ch issue with the chins. I've got the, the self-confidence over the size of my backside. And now I've got a problem with my knees. And this has gone on for years. And we all do it. And we all... Don't think twice about making comments about people's bodies. I remember quite a few years back going uh, on, a, on a holiday to somewhere nice and hot and sunny with, with a bunch of friends. And one of the guys in our crew was, was quite fit. I remember every time biting my tongue when he looked at someone that he perceived to be the wrong shape or overweight. And saying very loudly and audibly that he found it offensive and people like that should cover up. Why do we do that? It's no wonder that so many of us have body confidence issues. And I'm not talking now about all the, the, the elements of fitness. Of course, yes, we, we need to, to be looking after our health. Health is one of the, the biggest areas where we, as, as a nation, we fall down. We don't look after our health a lot, so uh, as much as we should. So I'm not going to cover kind of uh, issues of being overweight in, in terms of our health today. But what I want to talk about today is how many people out there, men and women, struggle to, to go on holiday and get the bikini body. So here I am today with my bikini body. I have a body. It's in a bikini. That means I have a bikini body. And later on, when the sun comes out a, a little more, he's out, he's out in the background, but I've positioned this so that you can't see much sun. Otherwise, I was a, I was a silhouette. There would have been a time I would have specifically made sure I was the silhouette, believe me. This is me being brave. There will be a time later on where I'll also have, I will also have the beach body because I will go down onto the beach with my body. That means I have a beach body. Later on today when the sun comes out, I will get into the sea. I have a sea body. We all have these things. Now let's, let's be really, really critical. Some people watching this might not like, like tattoos. I love tattoos. I have quite a few of them. I think very, very carefully about putting them on my body before they go on. I don't believe in doing things rashly that you might regret. I have lots of tattoos. I love every one of them. And everyone has great meaning to me. Not everyone will like that. I'm sitting here displaying quite, quite clearly good old British sunburn. Lots of people would say that I, I shouldn't go on, on camera showing that I have some sunburn. Why not? I have some bingo wings. Guess what? Again, I used to be a gym bunny. Here's my self-comparison. Because I used to be such a gym bunny, and I'm talking gym several times a week, I'm talking martial arts, I'm talking the habit of 50 push-ups, 50 squat thrusts, 50 sit-ups every night before bed. That was me. So I tend to compare an awful lot. I tend to remember back to the times where you could see a uh, definition of muscle 
and now look and think, flabby. You know, if I stand back, or I'm being brave again, you know, I have a bit of fat here, a bit of fat. So what? Those knees that I used to be ashamed of. Here you are, knees, knees. Those knees, if I go back a few years as well, they didn't work properly. I was walking with sticks not too many years ago. I had, um, I had specialists telling me that I might need to have knee replacements in my 30s. These knees, I shouldn't be being ashamed of these knees. I should be being thankful that I have knees that for whatever reason, whether it's because I've changed my outlook, changed my lifestyle, got happier, suddenly I realised one day I wasn't walking with the sticks anymore. I should be grateful that these knees are holding my body up instead of being worried because some guy years ago asked if I was wearing them for a joke. The backside. I sit on it every day. It's a bit squishier than it used to be. That means it's more comfy to sit on. And the bingo wings. Yeah. I'm getting older. I like food. So what? The chins. I've always had them. I had them when I was tiny. So why am I worried? Why is it that we look at people, we kind of hone in, and guys, I don't know if this is the same for you, but it's certainly true for a lot of us ladies. If we're out somewhere, it's as if we have some, some special laser vision that, that draws our, our attention to the people that we see as being thinner than we are. And then we go into that space again where I'm not good enough. I must cover up. I remember trying an experiment a few years back with, with my lovely missus. I'm sure she might won't mind me sharing this with you. Well, she, for years, she's, she's struggled with, with body image. And many years back, I remember sitting, standing in front of a, a coffee table and saying, just show me on the table how big you think your backside is. And she did it. She, she drew out on, this, on the coffee table how large she thought she was. And I held that space and said, right, now you sit in it. And there was about this much either side. So why do we do it? You know, our magazines don't help, our media, there's been so much said about the media. All those images of, of the bikini bodies we think we should have, and they've all been airbrushed to within an inch of their lives. We compare ourselves to, to celebrities, to movie stars, whose job, arguably, is to stay in trim. You know, they have all these personal trainers keeping them to a certain, certain size and shape so that they fit their next movie role. We have all of this. It's their job. We have these celebrities we compare ourselves to are paid. It's their job to look a certain size and a certain shape. It's their job to spend most of their lives feeling hungry. And still the magazines and the media and the movie posters are photoshopped and airbrushed to within an inch of their lives. So I want us to all have a long hard look at ourselves. I want us to get rid of all this body shaming. If we're out and about and we see someone and they are a size or a shape that to us, for whatever reason, doesn't seem attractive, so what? So what? I want us to think, I want us to engage these, to engage our, our minds and our hearts before we start spewing out all these insults and horrible things that we say about people who don't fit our ideal of the norm, of what should be. And I also want us to have a think about why we're having those reactions as well. What is it within us that makes us so keen and ready to start body shaming when we see people that we perceive to be too white, too flabby, too thin? too ugly. Where do we get those ideals from? ideas from? And what on earth do we think gives us the right to start criticising other people? We know nothing about their lives. We don't know what they've been through. We don't know what their family life's like. We don't know what their health conditions are like. We don't know how they've been raised. We don't know what hang-ups they have. Maybe they don't have any, but who are we, if it were any of us to judge, to compare? There are too many people out there, too many young girls and young guys, who are even killing themselves because they think they don't fit society's norm. But you know, there's beauty in all things. So again, 
here in here in in Greece, I've been going around a lot of the the archaeology museums, and you look at some of the forms we used to worship. We were much curvier then. Look at some of the the old pre pre rough images. These the the old paintings where women were supposed to have uh, large breasts and, and 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 curves and and buttocks that 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 were actually visible. You know, we didn't. We go back far enough. We d we didn't look at women on the beach and judge them according to whether or not there was a gap at the top of their thighs. And I'm not advocating that we all go and put on loads of weight. I'm not advocating getting unhealthy. I'm not advocating holding on to a body shape that doesn't serve our health. What I'm doing here is is asking us, pleading with us all, to just think about the judgments we're making about other people that we don't know. And even more so. I want us to think about the amount we're judging ourselves. We've got to. We've got to we've got to create a world where, where our young people aren't feeling so much pressure that, that they're developing eating disorders or worse. We've got to get to a point where none of us are afraid to stick a pair of shorts on in the summer or go out onto a beach. We've got to get to a point where we start to love ourselves far more than we hate ourselves, haven't we? And if you're one of the body shamers, I think we need to look at why we feel the need to do that. I think we need to look at our own insecurities and what it is. Where's that kernel of, of insecurity or even self-hatred so deeply embedded within ourselves that, that we have to, to turn that mirror outwards and start looking for fault in others rather than dealing with our own insecurities and our own foibles. I think we need to do that. We are all individuals, all of different shapes, different sizes, different colours, different shades, different mindsets. And we're all beautiful in some way. We are all beautiful, we are all perfect, just as we are. So. Whether you're someone who's ashamed of your body, whether you're someone who picks faults at the shapes and sizes of other people, I want you to have a long, hard think. I want you to have a long, hard, real heart think. Look within. And I want you to ask why it is that either you're feeling so ashamed of your own appearance or why it is that you think you are entitled to make barbed comments about other people's shapes or sizes. I want you to have a long hard think about who died and made you God? Because I guarantee every one of us somewhere will have something about ourselves that we don't like. And if we put ourselves in those shoes, if we Think about that element of ourselves that we're not pleased with and imagine that passers-by were pointing that out and making comments. How would you feel then? But let's flip that around the other way as well. I honestly believe every one of us somewhere will have something about ourselves that we really love. Whether it's our eyes, whether it's our hands, whether it's our hair, whether it's our forearms, our legs, even your little toe. Somewhere we'll all have something about ourselves that we love. So concentrate on that. Concentrate on finding that one part of yourself that you really, really love, that you're happy with. And grow that feeling. Let that feeling flood your entire body. Let it flood the areas that you really don't like until somehow that feeling of love, that positive energy, floods into the parts of your body you're not so keen on either. Because people, we've got to learn to love ourselves. Warts and all.